Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to install any mod pack from the Technic Pack platform onto your Server Pro Minecraft server. So, let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is obtain the files for the mod pack so that we can upload them to the server. So, the first step is go into the Technic Launcher. And then we need to search for the mod pack which we want to install. So in this case, I want to install the Sky mod pack. So in this little search tab on the top left hand side, I'm just going to search for Sky and then click enter. And then it'll come up here. And then the next thing we need to find out before we install it is what version of Minecraft this mod pack is running because it doesn't tell us here. So if you click this little box underneath the about section here, it'll take you to the website for this mod pack. So here you just need to read through, it might not be displayed at the same as this one, but you just need to look for the Minecraft version which this mod pack is running. So in this case you can see here that it's running Minecraft version 1.7.10. So we just need to note that down for the future as we'll be needing it later on in the installation. So now we can go back to the Technic launcher. And then you can click the install button which is down here on the bottom right hand side. And this will begin downloading all the things that you need for the mod pack so that we can install it on the client and on the server. So I'll be back with you shortly once this is finished downloading. So once the mod pack has finished downloading, there'll be a play button in the bottom right, but you don't want to click that yet. What you want to do now is go to the control panel for your Minecraft server. And then under this type area here, click change. And then click forge. And then here is where you need to recall what Minecraft version the mod pack is running. So if we just go back to the website, it says it was 1.7.10. So we're going to select the same version that it says in the brackets here. So 1.7.10, so we'll select that. Then to remove files, we'll click yes. And before you click install, please note that this will remove all the files from your server. The reason for this is so that the installation goes smoothly without any problems or conflicting errors so if you want to keep your server files I'd recommend backing them up so that you can use them at a later date. So click remove files and then click install. Click OK. This confirms that all your server files will be deleted. And then this will begin running installing Forge onto your server. Let me just explain what Forge is. Forge is like a modified version of the Minecraft server so that you can run mods on the server. So once that's finished, install them. You can go back to the Technic Launcher. And then you can click the Mod Pack Options tab up here on the mod pack that you want to install. And then it will tell you where the mod pack has been installed. So click Open. And it will take you directly to the area where it has been installed. So what you want to do now is highlight all of these files and folders, right click, Click send to compressed zip folder. And then we're going to rename this to something that is easy to remember. So it's called the Sky Mod Pack. So let's call it the Sky Official Mod Pack. And then we're just going to drag that to our desktop. There we go. So now what you want to do is go back to the control panel, go to the file manager, click upload file choose files, go to the area where you just dragged that zipped folder, click on it, click open, upload from computer, and then this will begin uploading the files needed for you to run the mod pack on your server. So I'll be back with you once that's completed. The file has now completed the upload. So now you'll, find, you'll need to find the zip file that you've just uploaded in this file manager. So as you can see here, mine's here, so I'm just gonna click it on the right hand side so it highlights it in blue don't click the file name as that will start downloading it so then once you've got it highlighted click unzip and this will unzip all the files that were in that zipped folder that we compressed earlier and then once you can see that they're all there click on it and then click delete because we no longer need this now once that's been deleted you can restart the server and then this will begin launching the server with the mod packs. So whilst it's doing that, we can go back to the Technic Launcher, click X on that, and then we can click play. 
and this will begin setting up the client so that we can join the server with the mods installed. So I'll be back with you once the server finish starts up and when the client has launched. The client has now finished setting up and it can take a while because it is loading quite a lot of mods. If you look here it does say it's got 64 mods loaded so that does take a lot longer to load than a Minecraft without any mods installed. So once the server has started up and the client's launched, you can check the server started up by looking for the message done in the console and a green line saying query running. This usually means that the server started up without any errors so that you can join. So then go back to your Minecraft game with the mod pack, click multiplayer, add your server. So I'm just going to call this server um, Sky Official Mod Pack Server Tutorial. Oh, I'll just go to it anyway. So let's go to the server address and then we'll grab our server address. Paste it in there with control V, click done. And then this should find the server and you should be able to join it successfully. There we go, so I've joined the server without any problems and I should be able to use the mod pack and all the mods within it. So that is simply how you do it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our support and watch our other YouTube tutorials as they may be of help to you. So thank you for watching, have a great day and goodbye.